Welcome back, witches and wizards. Today I thought we would try a silly game for April Fools. Now my plan is to do the entire game, which will probably take two to four hours, but I want to put it into parts throughout the day and just release like part one, part two, all the way to the end throughout April Fools. So I hope you enjoyed this. This is called Paka Plus, and it's a dating simulator where you play as a boy and your girlfriend can turn into an alpaca. This seems like it's on par with Hachi Full Boyfriend where you're a girl and you date pigeons. And I'm really looking forward to this, like just seeing the absolute madness that this game is gonna give me. I wanna know what happens. All right. Uh. Sure, uh. A violin melody can be heard in the distance. Again, excuse me, I am also still a little congested. I'm, it, allergies are in the air, like, you know, whatever. Um, it's a pleasing sound. Summer in the highlands is calm and clear with gentle breezes. As I stand on the grassy plains, still damp with morning dew, I quiet, quietly close my eyes and I l lean my ear in that refreshing melody, or I lend my ear to the refreshing melody. The love of my life is at my side. We hold each other's hands, wishing we could stay here like this forever. Hmm, isn't it still summer vacation? Why is my alarm going off? Kazuma? Is that who, us? Okay. I'm going back to sleep. It is nearly halfway through the summer vacation. I, Kazuma, so, uh, okay. again, pardon, I suck at pronouncing everything. So, se Seki? Seki? Okay, Kazuma Seki? Uh, clinging greedily to my pillow in dreams, determined to sleep in. The abrupt ringing of my cell phone tears me away from my thoughts of laziness. Hmm. Hi. Is there a bomb in my phone? Hello, uh, Yukari? It's you. Are you up and out of bed? Yeah, I'm up. I mean, I just woke up. What's going on? Why are you calling me so early? You know we have to go, we have to be at school today to prepare for the school festival, right? Make sure you show up. Do they have school festivals in the middle of their summer vacation? Right, in Japan, it's different than North America. Their summer vacation isn't where, like, you know, they start the, the new school year in fall. Like, it is literally in the middle of their, like, school year. They start in spring. And it's basically, like, their their spring break in North America. It's their summer break. Okay. Really? Oh, right, gotcha. Ah, jeez, everything's going to turn out fine, right? Yeah, it will. I'll get ready right away. It seems that preparations for the school festival are, are, uh, are starting today, even though we're in the middle of summer vacation. A single you should do it too, Kaz uh, Kazuma, from my girlfriend, uh, Yukari, was all it took for me to make, uh, to make me a committee member. Or that's what I remember, at least. Well, I'll be waiting for you at the usual bus stop, okay? Make sure to eat breakfast. Yeah, yeah, you know, you should. You sound like my mom. <laughs> Jeez, if you have the time to joke around, then hurry up and get ready. Got it. So I'll see you at the usual spot at the usual time. After Yukari's uh, wake-up call, I quickly got uh, get ready and jump into, or rather onto my sweet ride since it's just a bicycle and I rush out of my house. Uh, okay. I, I will save. How do I- There we go. Okay. I ride off to school, pedaling as hard as I can. Yukari uh, should have gotten on the bus at the usual time, so I, I, if I didn't hurry, I would, I'm gonna be late. Ha ha! Oof. 
Out of breath and with sweet, uh, sweat running down my brow, I make my way to the bus stop near the school. I wait for the bus Yukari should be on as I catch my breath. I'm gonna see if I can make this the text run faster. Uh, yes, let's go to max. Yes. A few minutes later, the bus comes right on the on schedule and a long-haired girl steps off the bus alone. Good morning, Kazuma. She gives me a, fam a familiar bright smile with a familiar greeting. Her name is uh, Yukari Uzim? Izimi? I don't know. Um, we're both freshmen in class 1A of... Uh, so blank private high school. She's also my girlfriend. She has long simmering hair, doe eyes, and a delicate build that makes you worry you'll snap her in half if you hugged her too tightly. Basically, she's a girl so cute it feels like a waste on me. That's, Yuka uh, that's Yukari. Good morning. Uh, looks like you're still sleepy. I am indeed sleepy. I thought about going back to bed, but I couldn't keep Yukari waiting here by herself. That's why I got here in such a hurry, but there's no need to make, any, uh, make anything of it. I changed the subject. By the way, Yukari, what was our class doing for the festival again? Oh, jeez. You don't remember at all? A maid cafe. Why is it always a maid cafe? It's either a maid cafe or it's going to be like a haunted house. Or food. Why? Why those three things? Huh. Oh, I see. That's right. That was it. That face says you didn't remember at all. No, that's not true. I honestly had no such memory. We were both there when we decided on what to do, too. Yukari stares at me with an expression that hinges on astonishment, but she nevertheless uh, patiently describes the maid cafe that our class will be hosting. Things start with, uh, started with someone in our class uh, reminiscing about the... Uh, Visit uh, about visiting a successful. Uh, oh, this is like the, the like the in Tokyo. There's like a section of the city where it's this, and it's basically like nerd central, right? Is that it? Hika Hikihabara made cafe on his Tokyo vacation. All the guys threw up their hands in support and applaud the speaker, but they still had to get the girls on board. Surprisingly, the proposal was approved quickly. The vast majority of girls agreed with the comments such as, I've always wanted to wear a maid outfit, and actually, I do have something like that. Uh, then our committee leader, uh, Ayuka... Sealed the deal by saying, I'll make sure the preparation suitable, uh, I'll make sure to prepare a suitable maid uniform for all the girls in class. No one, uh, was left to object and our class merrily decided to do, uh, on doing a refreshment booth with a maid cafe theme. Or so the story goes. I feel like a food stand is an option, uh, that involves lots of work for, li uh, for little gain. Profit-wise, but I'll be happy if I get to see uh, Yukari in a maid in maid's clothes. As we talked about it, the school we attend comes into view. God damn it, the cicadas are loud. Looking up into the sky, the sun is setting, uh, is getting stronger. The glaringly hot summer sun is merciless. Seems like today is going to be another hot one. Yeah, they have like really hot summers there, I hear. Uh, hello. Who are you? Community leader, uh, Shinozama? Shinozama? Okay. Is waiting in the classroom by herself when we arrive. Morning, Shinozama. <laughs> Shinozama. Uh, you're early as usual. Good morning. Good morning. As always, you two seem to be getting along pretty well. We are dating. This uh, resourceful committee leader was uh, was early, uh, who early realized the boys' collective desire for a maid cafe is considered by most of the class to be a level-headed and earnest. However, I also know that she's a hardcore uniform fanatic or manic. Uh, 
yeah, manic. Uh, Yukari told me that Shinozama couldn't resist cute outfits. Her collection doesn't just include the uniforms of nearby high schools, restaurants, and maid cafes. I heard rumors of a special costume room that she has at home, but the truth of that claim is beyond even Yukari's uh, understanding. You're getting along as well. I feel like the classroom's temperament is rising. What could we do about that? Yukari looks at me for help, but Yukari, you're very mistaken if you think you can always get me to help, uh, you can always get help from me. Hey now, hey now, if you don't cut it out, Yukari, I'll get embarrassed and heat this room up even more. <laughs> Not you too! One more committee member arrives late. Ah, oops, we got more important things to do. We can pick up on Yukari more later. True, let's call a temporary ceasefire for now and pick up again after the meeting. <laughs> what? More later? You don't need to. Alright, let's get started with the first meeting. Yes, as a member of the organizing committee, I'm getting fired up. Hey, listen to me. The meeting starts amidst uh, Yukari's adorable protest. When are you going to turn into an alpaca? <laughs> Oh well, that should be uh, that should be for today. This is our um, this is only our first meeting, but Shinu Za uh, Zawa had already de uh, detailed things so minutely that it ends quickly. You really command things like a military stra uh, strategic a strategist. Maybe I should start calling you Kong Ming. What the fuck? Ah, uh, let me handle uh, rallying the people. Sales should be just fine as well. I wouldn't want to get on your bad side. Thank you. Flattery won't get you anywhere, you know. I didn't mean to flatter her, but she seems in high spirits after seeing everything go as planned. Okay, I guess we're at a mall now. After that quick meeting, we leave uh, Shinozawa and go out for a stroll through the town. At the shopping center in front of the station, we try to hide from the hot rays of the sun as we go from record store to bookshop. We go through the arcade and into a fast food place. I drink a cold soda in the well air conditioned room. Uh, Yukara, uh, Yukari doesn't like soda, so she sips iced tea uh, daintily through a straw. A fleeting moment in the evening of a hot summer. I'm looking forward to the school festival. Yeah, I can't wait to see you in, in a maid outfit. Jeez. But I'm surprised you accept wearing maid clothes. No qualms about it? Girls always wish they could transform. Is that how it goes? Uh, so even you want to try being something else, Yukari? Well, I wonder. Uh, are you secretly a uh, an alpaca? <laughs> I don't really understand girls' uh, difficult feelings, but if she says so, then it's probably right. Oops, it's already this late. I need to head home. Yukari looks at her watch. Oh, you're right. As we trade Silly's jokes, time flies by us. It's not that we're doing anything or going anywhere in particular. Just having, uh, just being together makes it a wonderful time. Such times are small and simple, but unique to the li uh, lives of wholesome students. And just being able to experience them is enough for me. Well then, be careful getting home. <laughs> yeah, you too, Kazuma. Watch out for, the, for cars. Oh yeah, we're riding a bike, aren't we? Yeah, I know. Well then, I'll see you tomorrow. See you then. After seeing Yukari off at the bus, uh, bus stop, I pedal my way home. Looking up into the red tinted sky while pedaling, uh, I see a single white cloud floating not that far off the ground. It looks to me like a sheep or a camel for some reason or another. Uh, okay. Kazuma -kun. Kazumaku, get the bill for the table th uh, for table three, please. Roger. You can take a break once you're done. 
there's a little shop, uh, coffee shop hidden next to the residential area, not far from the station. Black Cat Coffee. I've been helping out at the shop uh, far longer than I've attended the school. It wasn't really a part-time job, rather my family has been on good terms with the people there since I was little, so they're nice to me as well. And when I saw how busy the owner was, I just started helping out there, uh, here and there. During my childhood years, I ended up coming to the Black Cat instead of the park whenever I couldn't find a place to play. So now I'm closer to the owners than even my own father, who really, uh, who never really played with me much. Aw, that's sad. The owner, Yuko Mitaki, Mitaka, runs the shop with his two daughters, but there are some times when he'll take any help he can get. Thank you very much. Now then. I have just uh, seen off the last customer, and now it's just me and the owner inside the shop. It's strange how large the inside of the shop feels when it's only just two people, uh, two of us in here, since it's a rather small cafe. Ah, so you're having a maid cafe at your school? I'm just chatting with the owner since there wasn't much of anything else to do. Yeah, it's just it just suddenly happened, so I've been bogging... Uh, I've been bogged down with preparing for the festival. Students are the main event at school festivals. Uh, after all, make sure to do it properly. Please don't add on more pressure. <laughs> hey now, you can't go half-heartedly into this. If you have any concerns, I'll gladly listen. After all, I know a thing or two about cafes. Really? I can't think of a certain... Uh, I can't think of a certain someone... Uh, I can think of a certain someone that would love hearing that actually. As I say that, I imagine a grinning sh uh, Shinozawa saying, I'll take you up on that. So, like, the cakes for the maid cafe, how much uh, time is needed to make them and how much should we spend on ingredients? Well, it's not so much the time as the equipment. You'll be able, uh, will you be able to use their kitchen? No, the cooking club has reserved the kitchen. We have to prepare everything in our classroom. So getting ovens will be difficult. Then we'll need to buy one from somewhere? If so, then our expenses will get pretty high. The owner folds his arm and goes, Hmm. This is just a suggestion, but what if the Black Cafe was uh, to supply the cakes for your festival? What? Are you sure? His sudden suggestion surprised me. In fact, the Black Cafe uh, cake set, uh, sets are known to be delicious even around the neighborhood. So, uh, so much so that they've been featured in magazines before. Customers would definitely love having these cakes in the Maid Cafe. Yeah, if you could leave the Black Cat business card near the register in return, that would be great. That wouldn't be a problem at all. I think we'll need quite a lot, though. Oh, will that be fine? This is for you, Kaz uh, Kaz Kazuma. Oh my gosh, I'll work. Uh, I'll work it out. Thanks. Can we go over the details next time? Sure thing. I'll take uh, uh, Shinozawa up. I'll talk to Shinozawa about this later. I don't want to give the owner too much trouble, but, well, this is Shinozawa we're talking about, so it should be fine. And there's one more thing I want to check on with the owner. Boss, can I have time off at the end of the month? My shift was Wednesday, Friday, Saturday, but it can be uh, changed freely depending on mine or the owner's situation. The end of the month, August 31st, is actually uh, Yuki, uh, Yukar yeah, Yukari's birthday. Since it's her birthday, I'd rather be by her side than working. Aww. Of course, it's fine. Is there something you're doing? It's Yukari's birthday, so I was thinking of taking her somewhere nice. I see. Have fun. Thank you very much. Actually, there's something related to that I wanted to ask you about. What would that be? I was thinking about getting her some type of present, or some kind of present. Okay. What do girls like getting? Mm, ah, well, conversely, what gift from uh, Yukari would make you happy? Even though I'm asking him, I get a question in, re in response. Uh, me, er, I don't really have anything I particularly want. 
I think I'd like anything Yukari picked up from me. Right, there's your answer. So you're saying um, it's uh, real? Uh, it really is the thought that counts? That's what I believe? She likes music, so maybe I'll find her some violin-related um, uh, accessories. The owner smiles and disappears beyond the counter. Probably going to check on the coffee beans. Okay. Welcome. Oh, Yukari, it's you. It's you. Is that any way to treat a customer? Understood, ma'am. Uh, would you like to sit... Uh, would you like the seat be... Yeah, would you like... Yeah, I can't talk. Uh, would this seat be adequate? I lead her to a seat near the window as I say that. Yes, thank you. May I please uh, take your order? Well, it's a little late, but I believe I shall take my lunch. Fetch me today's lunch menu. The A combo comes with a uh, car carbonara. Whereas the uh, whereas the B combo has rice um, omelet, both come with complimentary salad and drink. <laughs> then I'll have the rice omelet B set. I know you. Uh, I knew you would go for that. You really like your rice omelet. <laughs> you know because this shop, is, uh, fluffy melty rice omelet is so good. Uh, as to be expected from a regular, quite the discerning eye. It'll be here shortly, boss. B combo order up. Sorry, I have my hands full right now. Can you make it? Roger. As you heard. So you're making it for me today. I shall not disappoint, ma'am. Okay. I put on my apron as I heard, uh, head to the kitchen. Sometimes I have t to wield the frying pan instead when the owner is busy roasting the beans. I practice cooking fluffy... Uh, melty rice omelets. So often is uh, now my forte. Ah. All right, this should be good. I'm gonna save it. There we go. But I feel a little mischievous today. I add a little something to the salad too. Uh, just a bit of mischief. Oh, what did you do? Sorry to keep you waiting. One deluxe fluffy melty rice omelet. Wow, it looks great! Yukari quickly brings a spoonful of delicious rice omelet to her mouth. Mmm, yummy! Why do girls always look this happy when they eat something delicious? Because it's freaking food, and it's good. <laughs> it makes us happy. Just feed us. Her happiness is contagious. But just as she bites into the salad, her eyes go wide and she freezes up. Ah, so it really is something you notice right away. Oh, wow, she swears. <laughs> she furiously washes the salad down with water and looks at me in protest, tears to her in her eyes. Jeez, you put okra in my salad on purpose, knowing I don't like it, didn't you? Yep, I did. Usually there's no okra in the salad. I have no idea what okra is. What is okra? I'm just going to put up a picture of what okra is there. There we go. That's what it is. But it's on the on the house. Do you know it's good for your complexion? Grr! You jerk! So mean! Don't be mad. You'll ruin this uh, that pretty face. Oh wow! Okay, that's a little mean. Hmm. Whatever. Yukari puffs out her cheeks, but keeps eating her rice omelet. You say whatever, but you're still eating the rice omelet because it's so just so good. That uh, it's fine. It's not like the the rice omelet's fault. With warm feelings filling my heart, I look at Yukari and wonder what to get her for her birthday. I know it's the thought that counts, but I want her to be happy getting it. I'll try taking notes of what grabs her attention next time. Okay, so in like two weeks, it'll be her birthday. And I'm guessing when it's her birthday, that'll be like the end of the game. That's my guess. It's 7.40. Yukari steps off the bus right on schedule. Good, you didn't sleep in today. What do you mean today? It's not like I slept in last time. Oh, if I hadn't called you, then you definitely would have slept in. 
Fine, I'll admit you were a big help that time. As long as you understand. Well, let's get going. All right, so I guess we're going to continue our preparations for the uh, the uh, maid cafe. We're meeting up for the uh, school festival again. Uh, Shinozawa, who is handling the costumes, has organized a, a platoon of seamstresses from the handcraft clubs. Other team members are busy working on the greeting manual, uh, ma uh, manual and putting the menu together. What Akari and I are doing is making the list of what needs to be purchased. Hmm, white tablecloths would be nice. Wouldn't pink be better if it's a maid cafe? I think that would be cute too, but since the outfits are pink, I think it would be better if they weren't the same. I agree. Go with the white. I see, so the maid outfits are pink. Um, hey, you're imagining something weird just now, didn't you? Or you imagined something weird just now. Don't worry about it. You're cute no matter what you wear. That's not what I mean. <laughs> Jeez, come on. You need to hear me think... Uh, you need to help me think of... Uh, think stuff up. Think up stuff. I need to learn to read. Sorry, sorry. Also, we need plates and cups and... Need a sign as well. Oh, that's right. So I guess that's about it. We checked over the lists we've made. According to the schedule, we'll be uh, skipping the next meeting to go shopping. We really need to put some thought into this since I want to buy everything in one go. Yeah, this should be all, right? I think so. If you remember anything else, we can just add it then. What's after this? Since everybody's working on their own task, it looks like we can go if we're finished with our part. Then how about we go do our homework together in the library? Uh, I'm happy you asked me, but I have, pract I have practice after this. Orchestra club, was it? Yeah. Can't miss that. Go uh, do your best. Sorry about that. It's fine, it's fine. Yukari apologizes again and leaves the classroom. I thought about joining a club at the start of school, but working at Mr. Uh, Mitaka shop was both enjoyable and fulfill, uh, fulfilling, so I decided against it. After Yukari leaves for her club, I jump onto uh, into conversations of classmates who are helping with preparations. It's nice that they've shown up, but unfortunately it's too early to start doing any actual work. So they're just waiting around. Uh, boy student A. Hey, you finished the DLC mission uh, put out this week? Sandy Plains. Oh, I have no idea what that is. The mob is uh, summon. Uh, the mob it summons are max size too. Oh, that's out already? Seriously, you didn't beat it yet? My bad. I've been busy lately. Busy meaning uh, meaning with. Izumi? Must be nice having a real girlfriend. Not what I mean. We're hitting the hunting grounds later. You're coming? Uh, you're coming, whether you like it or not. The hunting grounds? I get it, I get it. The hunting grounds? What? The school bell rings while we talk, ab all, uh, talk about all that dumb stuff. So we're leaving as well. Uh, we th I think about just heading back, but thoughts of Yukari resurface. Come to think of it, I've never actually seen Yukari up close while she's playing the violin. I actually used to play the violin when I was in elementary school. Our teacher had kept making us play, like, really simple songs and, like, really, like, it, it was boring. Um, because we would play, like, Mary Had a Little Lamb. Ba ba black sheep and twinkle twinkle little star and I'm like I know you need to like learn somewhere like you need you need to start off small to learn like an instrument like an instrument is very hard to play but like after like three years of doing it <laughs> of nothing but songs like that you kind of wish you could have done something a bit more advanced and uh, like had I known about orchestras like two steps from hell or anything like that and listen to their music, I would have been totally more invested into playing the violin because now I can't remember how to play it. 
If someone were to give me a violin, I'd be like, mm. but I, I do wish I could get back into it. I loved playing the violin. It was, it was really cool. I've cheered her on during competitions and tournaments, but she doesn't want to be watched when she's practicing because it's embarrassing for her. It feels like she practiced every day. Performing with an instrument must really be that hard. It is. It is. It's a total dedication. It piqued my interest, so I decided to go peek into the music room. The music room is soundproofed, but just the slightest hint of a violin melody can be heard in the hallway. The song. I've heard it somewhere before. It's... Uh... Pa... Uh, something canon. Uh, mm. Opening the door, there was uh, Yukari elegantly playing her violin. It doesn't seem there uh, seem there are any other students in the music room. She keeps playing, unaware of my arrival. It doesn't feel right interrupting, so I'll, I'll wait until she's finished. Yukari's been playing the violin since she was little. I remember being told at some point that this can uh, cannon was the first piece she learned. She plays the, uh, this piece as uh, so as to not forget her beginnings. It doesn't seem... Uh, I don't know much about classical music, but I can tell the sound from her violin is crystal clear. It's a pure, honest sound. If I listen to it with my eyes closed, it's as if the sound is probing the depths of my own heart and feelings. What kind of person am I? In terms of hobbies, I just play some games from time to time. Even my part-time shifts at the cafe aren't as much of a job as they are a way for me to relax by helping out a bit. I've never sincerely, uh, seriously put forth real effort in, into anything. Yukari's earnest expression and the movement of her delicate arms speak volumes at the time uh, of the time she poured into music. I feel a bit envious of her. As I'm thinking about that, the music stops. Yukari has turned to see me. Huh? Kuzama? Were you listening? Yes, I was. You should have told me if you were coming. Nah, I thought I'd just peek in before leaving, but your music was just so beautiful, so... Mm. Flattery will get you nowhere. I wasn't expecting anything by praising her. I just said what I felt. Was that... That? <laughs> That's right. The song is sort of warming. Yeah, I love this piece. It's a song that do uh, gets deeper the more I play it, I think. I see. Well, I don't want to get in the way if you're practicing, so I'll go. Okay, see you tomorrow. I leave the music room as to not get in Yukari's way. Closing the door, I hear the sound of the violin starting up again. The same song. It really speaks uh, to how much she loves playing the violin. I want to get somewhere... I want to find something that I can pour my heart and soul into as much as Yukari does... So I stand, so I can stand proud beside her. That what that's what goes through my head.